So how did I end up being a PhD student? Hi guys, my name is Jabir and I'm a PhD student at University College London. And in this video, I'm going to tell you how I ended up being a PhD student. I'm going to break this video down into three parts. One is my background. The second is what I thought the PhD would offer in terms of benefits. And the third is my future, how I looked for the future and how I thought a PhD would help me in getting there. So starting off with my background. Surprisingly, I was always a straight A student during school. I enjoyed science, maths and even English. Especially in the sciences, I enjoyed biology and I knew I wanted to do something biology related. During my GCSEs, there's no surprise I got all A's without even studying. However, this didn't continue during college where my grades plummeted. This is because I found other things more interesting and didn't take education so seriously. So during the first two years of college and before, I kind of wanted to be a doctor, so get into medicine. However, this required top grades, something I wasn't going to get at the current pace I was going. And then I kind of gave up. I didn't really care about college. And then I got my grades, of course, and they were not as good as they should have been. Overall, I got a B, a C and a D, which is terrible and you could not get into any med school. After that, I really did not know what I was going to do. So I copied my friend and ended up doing biochemistry at the University of Westminster. Even during my degree time, I didn't take it seriously and I didn't make the best out of my degree. I ended up with a 2-2, which is lower second class from not the best university in the world, which meant that my job prospects were also quite tainted, in my opinion. <laughs> this led me on to taking a year out where I kind of did almost nothing. I actually started a YouTube channel in that year, <laughs> which is around four years now. But most importantly, I realised that getting a low classification degree wasn't going to help me get any good job. And it wasn't going to help me to get the career that I wanted, which was rewarding both in terms of money, but also in terms of helping people. And so during my year out from my education, but also general life, I decided to do a master's. I ended up being accepted at University College London to do my master's. I put my head down that year. I studied so hard. I put friends aside, social stuff aside, and then I did my best. Surprisingly, in my master's, is I actually got the highest in the whole class which kind of prompted my supervisor and then course director to offer me a PhD position in his lab. At that point in time I really didn't know what I was going to do in terms of career. I knew that I wanted to do something science-based that would help as many people as possible and I had a master's degree and quite a good classification at, at that. But then I looked around and saw that master's degrees were also capped at what kind of pay bracket you can get into and what kind of good jobs you can get into. So I thought I could get a job with my master's but I really didn't know exactly what kind of job I wanted to do. So I thought a PhD would last three to four years and that will give me some time to think about what I want to do. And so, you know what, I thought, why not? I will do a PhD, what's the worst thing that could happen? In four years, uh, I'll get the title of being a doctor so I can kind of fulfill that little checkbox in my life, not really. So that was my initial background into how I got into my PhD. Most things were just either by luck or the next step. It was mostly a blind process of me just going from one thing to another without really thinking. But in my opinion, education is always useful. Even if you have all the experiences, you don't know how the economy is gonna change. For example, example coronavirus right now no one could have predicted that having an education from such a good establishment you know any accredited university gives you that thing that no one can just go and get take three years from accredited university and it's not replaceable with something else even though work experience might be useful jobs can just come and go as they please that brings me on to my second point which is the benefits of doing a PhD so the first benefit of doing a PhD in my opinion was it's very respected and it's gonna get me those jobs that masters or a bachelor's would not have got the second was further education it was going to give me more insight of how academia works, going to give me a much better position to research. I'm going to be able to publish papers that would be able to put on my portfolio. And also, most importantly for me, it gave me three to four years to think about what I really wanted to do and develop as a human being and as an adult. We all know that human development, especially in teenagers and young 20-somethings, is very different from person to person. Some people grow at slower paces. However, the PhD definitely has made me grow within those four years and I really don't regret doing a PhD. And so for the final point is the future. How did I think that a PhD would help me in my future? Well, first thing, employability. Although having a PhD doesn't necessarily make you stand out for employers, as in they want to employ you so badly, is because sometimes you might be overqualified, but having a PhD does allow you to open certain doors that wouldn't have otherwise been opened if you had done a master's or a bachelor. It allows you to get into the field of academia. Those four years have given me an insight into academia and what it entails in being an academic. The thing is, you can always go from academia to other industries, but if you're already in the industry, industry it's very hard to get into academia because it requires years and years of work so I'm grateful that I've done it at a younger age and if I ever wanted to go back to industry or go to academia
academia, I can always have the option. So about the future, what can I do with a PhD? Well, having a PhD puts me in a position that allows me to stay in academia, build a portfolio of research and become a scholar. If I work hard and it's very competitive, you can eventually become a professor, which is very rewarding because you are able to teach a lot of students, you are able to contribute to life-changing research, but also the prestige that comes from being a professor is probably something that I've always wanted. I hope this video has been useful to you. If you liked it, press like and comment down below. Please let me know if there are any other videos that I can make regarding PhD, Masters, or if you are unsure of whether academia is right for you. And as always, thank you for watching this video.